The custom layouts feature from StreamYard means you design your show to have whatever look you want, except there's a little problem. Problem? What problem? The endless possibilities leaves many of us overwhelmed and we retreat back into the safety of the default layouts. I wanna help. I do service. Here's five custom layouts you can set up easily. Number one, crop in on your two-person layout for a different look that shows off your background. And while you're at it, number two, add a third person to that layout and maybe even make the middle camera bigger. Number three, for those multi-person streams, create a panel plus host layout. Number four, for the virtual speaker or presenter, create a presentation layout. And for the screen share instructor, create a teaching layout. That's five, five custom layouts that you can pre-create for your StreamYard live shows to take your engagement to the next level. It's all level up. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today, we're looking at five custom layouts every StreamYarder needs, plus a Canva background hack. Let's go. So here we are in Canva and I have already made my designs here, but I want to share with you what the hack is. And it's simply to use these white frames, right? So I've created my design in my background. Uh, these, this whole section here is the design of the background. It's one image that I've just placed into Canva as the background for all of these, uh, these scenes or screens that you see here. But on top of that background, I've put in these white squares. And these white squares are gonna make sense in a second, but these white squares are where I will put my camera when we get into StreamYard. So I put two people on this scene here. That's the two person layout. Here's a three person layout, as I mentioned before with the middle camera, just a little bit bigger. Here is the panel layout and just have a transparent background with a white border. Sometimes the panel will fit nicely in there. Sometimes it might not, but at least there'll be that nice transparent background for those times where it doesn't. You still have this square for the host's camera and it gives it that white border as well. And then we have some presentation ones, right? So these are presentation uh, slides that I have for a presentation of mine. And I have that white square on all of them so that I can go through my presentation without having to change the scene. So all of these I'm gonna create into a PDF slideshow and use that slideshow in the media slot of a custom layout as my background. That is the hack, my friends. And I hope that, you know, for those that wanted the hack, I wanted to give it to you right up here up front. The last screen on this, uh, this design is an actual background. So this screen, I'm going to export it as a PNG and put it in as a background in StreamYard. And so in order to e export all of these, I'm gonna do two things. Number one, come up here to the share option, go to where it says download, click this to go to PNG, and I'm gonna select just the current, the current page that I'm on right now to be able to get this, this a, a design as the background. So then I would download that. The second thing I would do is come back in here, change this to PDF standard, come to where you're selecting pages, probably select all the pages and then just uncheck this last one and the first two, because those are uh, not part of the slideshow. And this would be my PDF. So pages three through 12, which are all the pages that we showed during our demonstration just now all those would be my one PDF file. So when I hit done and I hit download, I should have two files. One is the background image. The other is the PDF, which I'll use in the media slot of a custom layout as my background image as well. So let's take a look at what that looks like in StreamYard. So here we are in StreamYard and you got to bear with me. I know there's a lot of things you're seeing on screen right now in terms of assets that are in the bottom of the studio, but I want to make sure that we get this right. So uh, first thing we want to do is upload the background. Now I've already uploaded it just to save time, but I want to walk that process through with, through with you. So I come into the background section, hit on the plus sign and go to my downloads folder. You can see right here that that screen share PNG file is right here. And I would simply click that to open it and that would come into my backgrounds. And I can select that background. You can see that background is here now, but I don't wanna to touch on that one just yet. That's our, our fifth layout and we're gonna build that in just a second. So we're gonna click that off so that we have our, our black blank canvas. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna come here to where it says present here at the bottom, where it says present here. 
highlighting that, hit the plus sign on that. And you see where it says slides. I'm gonna hit slides and I go to your computer and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna upload the 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 document that we created, the slideshow, which is this one that says uh, custom layouts PDF. All of those scenes that we designed in Canva are now in this one PDF file. So if anybody, even if I click on this and hit the space bar, you can see all those scenes are in this one file as a PDF. So we have that set up and we're good to go. So we would then simply click this to select it and hit open. And that will open it into our StreamYard Studio and it stays there. I'm gonna show you where that is just now. So come right back down here to present, go right into slides. And instead of going to your computer this time, I've since I've already uploaded it, I can go right here to where it says SY custom layout. And unless I hit that trash can off to the side there, this will stay in the studio wherever I go, no matter where I log in from. That's pretty cool. So let's add that in. You can see that as added in here now. And that is gonna be the base for our first custom layout. So let's get started with our modded two person crop layout. So I'm gonna hit the, the plus sign here to get started, All right? Well, let me do that again, just to make sure you, you're following along. You have edit layout and you have new layout. Go ahead and click on new layout. We're not gonna edit just yet. I'm gonna use edit later. And I come over here to where it says add item add item we're going to build this out and i'm going to use a media slot uh, i said this a couple times when we were in canva i'm going to use a media slot and so we're going to take that media slot and bring it out to expand to take over the whole background of our custom layout and in once we have that like that i'm going to click add to stream on the pdf that we created so now you can see that that PDF is there. But additionally, I can click on this arrow next to the slides and I can select one of the slides that I want to design on. In this case, I want to design on slide number two, uh, but I can also use these arrows at the, at the bottom here that says next and previous slide. If you have your Stream Deck set up, you can actually set up, you can actually use the next and previous slide buttons on your Stream Deck as well. So now I have this background. I have these white squares. I can simply go here to add item, right? You see add item here. I'm gonna go to camera slot and we have our first camera slot. I'm gonna add that in there. And the I'm gonna try and make this, uh, the size work for us. You can see that we have we can we can basically just line it up with the white square so that it, it takes up the same amount of space. But now, since it, I do want to get all of that white space on the bottom covered, I simply come up here to where it says fit and fill, fit or fill, right? Fit or fill. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on fill, and then I, that allows me to actually crop in on that camera. And you can see now that that's taking up just the space of that white square and it gives me that white, the, the illusion of a white border. Really cool stuff. Now let's go ahead and click copy or duplicate on this one. And we can just slide that, it's the exact same size. And because we made those squares the same size, that slides right into place. And that's what that looks like. Now, just as an example, I'm gonna add two cameras in. There's at camera one and there's camera two. And that is what this scene will look like so let's go ahead and hit the save button here. And we're gonna call this mod two person crop. We're kinda, that's what we're gonna call that, save as new layout. And we saved it. And in order to, you, you notice that it, it went to a different layout. We went to this uh, news or uh, screen layout here. But if I cl click back on the mod two person layout, it will actually go into place and, and it looks perfect. Now. I'm going to remove these two cameras from screen and we're gonna to go to the next page because that is our modded three person cropped layout. So this is what this is. Let's click on the edit button now, right? So edit, edit layout, go click on that. And we see the two different boxes that are here. I'm going to put number, the camera number one in the middle. So that's gonna be our middle camera since it's slightly bigger. And of course, if you're the host, you probably wanna be on that middle camera. And we'll just drag that in. You can see how easy that is to make that work. Now we can click on add item, add a camera slot, put this over here, and we can change this again to fill, uh, crop in here a little bit, and then bring this down some. And we'll do the exact same thing we did before by hitting the copy button 
putting that over there. So camera number three is gonna line up almost perfectly with camera number two. And now you have your three person layout. And in order to test that out, let's add three cameras to the screen. One, two, and three. So now you can see what that looks like. All three of these cameras are on screen and we can save that as a mod two person layout. So we're just gonna hit mod three person layout, mod three person crop. And instead of update, right? We're not gonna click update, we say save as new layout. And we click save as new layout. Well, guess what happens? It goes back to the old layout. It goes back to the existing one. Let's select that one. And you can see that now we have these two set up properly. So let's remove these cameras from screen and let's keep on going. I think the next layout we wanted to do is the host plus panel. And so now we have this here. Let's click on the plus sign to create a new layout, add item, media slot, and it already grabs the slideshow, the PDF slideshow already it grabs that because that was selected down here in the bottom. Then I can add a new item, add camera slot, and we can push this over to the side here and make sure that this is set to fill because we do want to crop in on this camera crop in there and bring this down some to fill in that white space so that that one's done and then now we're going to use something we haven't used yet and that is the dynamic camera grid so dynamic camera grid we pull this in here uh just kind of pull it to the side a little bit and and we can pull it to the center some um yeah that that should do it right about there and now we can select we can select five people. We can select uh, six people. It just depends on what your panel size might be to be able to see what you would want for this design or this layout. And so now that that's done, I don't have that many cameras to show off, but I can at least add one so you can see it would be the host, this other square over here. And whoever you added in as your panel would be in this, this other square, but evenly distributed. So that is a dynamic camera slot that, that they've given us in these custom layouts, and that's how you'd use it. And I think it would be perfect for a panel discussion. So you have your host and you have your panel and everybody's there on screen, your audience is able to engage. And so we wanna save this one as, let's just say host plus panel. So host plus panel, right? We'll see, save new layout save it and of course we have to click back on it in order to get that to work but there's only one camera added to the screen right now so we're really not seeing any of the panel but that's okay let's continue on we'll move to the next uh this is the fourth one this is our presentation layout and so this the whole thing is for me to be able to present so let's create a new layout same thing again, add media slot. And you can see that the, the PDF presentation is already in there. And we can say add another item camera slot. We'll change this to fill, pull this over to the side here and pull this down some and push this in. And there we have our presentation. And we can add this in here and let's click save. And we'll call this presentation. Presentation, right? Presentation save as new layout. Um, I will go back to the presentation layout here on the bottom. You can see that these layouts that we're creating are all filling in on the bottom and whatever we name it is also, uh, that, that is what the highlighted uh, text that comes up is the name that we're giving it. So presentation, uh, host plus panel, modded three person, mod two person. Now here again, we can control our slideshow by clicking through the different uh, slides and I can make my presentation this way. Um, that's what the audience would see. Those are the five tips and that would kind of take us to the end of that portion of the presentation, if you will. And now let's go ahead and remove both of them. Let's remove the, the background, which is our media slot, and let's remove the camera. We'll go back to a regular uh, layout. And now we want to use a background because the last of the, the layouts, the five layouts that I promised you is the teaching layout. So the teaching layout is pretty much where you can share a screen or you can share a video or you can share a presentation in the traditional sense. So if you had like a slideshow, uh, PowerPoint, keynote, you can share that in a traditional sense right here. Uh, I'll give you an example. Let's create the scene first. <laughs> Let's create the layout first. So new layout on top of this background, we're gonna click new layout and all we gotta do is click uh, camera slot. So we're gonna create that. Let's call that fill and let's pull that in some right there, right there, right there. Push that in some right there and pull that down. Okay, 
you can see how that will kind of all line up there. You can use your arrows to adjust that to get it just where you want it to be. And then now we can see, simply add a media slot. We can add a media slot and I want to line that up right on this, on this thing here. And we're going to use the arrows just to kind of get that thing really on there. So now we have our media slot, we have our camera slot. Let's save and I want to call this teaching. Teaching, right? We see, click that and save that as a new layout. We, we can then add my camera in and we can add in a share screen. And you'll notice that it goes right into place where we want it to be for, let's say, whatever we're doing in terms of our live show. This is a shared screen um, that we can show in there. But let's say maybe we want to actually show the presentation. Same presentation, the same PDF will work. So we can share that and it will go into this scene in this layout, this particular teaching layout. It will share either a slideshow uh, or, or uh, a screen share. It will share that into the scene just like that. But let's say you, you're like me and you, you, you go on Amazon Live to sell stuff and you wanna share a video. I've got these videos added to my computer on my, on my machine. I can add any one of these videos in and it will just come right into that slot. Um, I don't have to change scenes. I don't have to do anything much. I can be talking about this item. I can be highlighting it on Amazon and I can have this video playing like this in this way. So many different cool little things that we're able to do with these five custom layouts. I hope that you are going to try them out. I hope that you saw something here that kind of piqued your interest, that kind of said to you, okay, maybe I can give these five, uh, these, these few layouts a try. This custom layouts feature a test drive, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Did I mention I love Canva? <laughs> I hope I did. Also, did I mention PDF slides can be uploaded and stay in your StreamYard studio until you delete them? Family, remember the cheat code here is designing the background first and then placing your camera or media asset on top. Whether you use the PDF slide or a traditional background image depends on what you have in that layout. I use PDF for pretty much everything except layouts that have a shared video or shared screen. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more custom layouts or some more detailed Canva designs from this channel. Be sure to subscribe so you get notified when we have new videos, new content, or live shows. Take care, fam, and happy streaming.